Sue, so I'm a going out to prospecting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, Pa. <laughs> I will be up on a mountaintop looking for. Oh man, it's dark outside. This is going to be a tough <laughs> run, isn't it? I should probably. Well, that's right. I don't actually have to go back to base to drop things off if I forget. I could just be like. Magic pouch. Magic pouch. And most of this stuff goes to the right place. We'll have to fill up our sorting chest better soon. I mean, I don't know how we're going to do that exactly, but we'll figure it out soon enough. Because like, our, our chests are kind of getting full. That's a bit of a problem. Got so many tools. All right. So I am going to head off. Oh, no. Sue, I'm sorry. I fell in the bugle crop. You fell on it? Yeah. On purpose? Yeah, not Never like, even... not on purpose. Oh. We also need to go on a quest in the Twilight Forest. I thought I had wolves, but I guess I didn't, which sucks. All right, well, Sue's been digging. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to prospect for platinum, which is a very rare metal that only occurs in super high uh, areas of um, of the world in Resident Rise. We set it up so that it's, it's you actually have to go looking for it specifically or find other ways to get it. But we need it in quantity because I want to make it use it for Tinker's Construct Tools. So I'm up here around Y118. Whoa. Not what I wanted to do. And uh, we're basically going to try and use one of these prospectors from Charlotte's Utilities to find this stuff. Um, I think that'll be good. And so we want to have it just basically tell us the varieties of ore. Should be good. Um, actually, we could have it specify. Let's do a smaller area. And then we could tell it I would like to specify the ores. That should be sufficient. So let's see what happens if I hold this down. I don't know if we actually have that much power. We don't. Hmm. Uh, maybe we need to do a smaller area then. How about this? One, three. Yeah, we have it that much. So let's go ahead and see if we can find some platinum here. By just holding down right click. And then we just have to be patient because it just takes a long time. Hey, Sue, I'm up here prospecting. What are you doing? Um, I'm tidying up the little hole in, hole in the ground. No. Oh. I gotta get, I gotta find some stuff. This is nuts. It's going forever. I'm still prospecting. Hey Sue. You're hey, Sue. still prospecting. I'm still prospecting. Yes, I am aware. So I didn't find any. Um, oh boy, they almost wiped it out, and I didn't find any stuff there. What about if we go here? Now, if I, if I do it on the side, it actually sweeps sideways, which might be a little bit more interesting. So let's go ahead and change this from, let's go with a 3x3, three three, and then let's change it just to density. So it shouldn't take very much power. Five percent ore. So there's a lot of ore here. Some of it's limestone, but let's see what we can do. All right, Sue, I'm back. Okay. I did not find any platinum because I suck. Oh, too bad. Hmm. So, whoa! Go down this hole. Holy smokes, it's all like cedar paneled and or spruce paneled in here. Uh, everything is sprucey. Okay. So, and now you want to go ahead and put like a little mini growth area up here? Yes, yeah, so I put like uh, what, what, what kind of plant? Oh, all the witchery plants, plants, right? All of them? Yeah. And then maybe we could put against the back wall a, um, yeah, what if we put against the back wall some bookcases and a little desk? Mm -hmm. And then one of the bookcases has a secret book that opens up the, the passage down. Does that sound good? Yeah. Are we going to raise it up? Are we going to, are we going to have it like in the middle of the room? Yeah, why not? Okay, I see what you're saying. I'll go get the uh, seeds. New seeds. Do I have you... seeds. Oh, I you have, have the witchery I have seeds? All the all the witchery seeds. Wow. We also need to put a little bit of water in here. Got to figure out where I'm going to put that water. Huh. Um, I can go get the chalice. I'll be right back. There so, you what do you want to do with your witchery? What, like, is there anything I've told you? Because you've heard us talking about it, right? Yes. And, like what 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 we're all doing with witchery? What do you want to do with witchery? Um. It's a secret. Well, you can't. You can't. You can't keep it a secret. I can't keep secrets. I mean, you could, but I mean, why do you want to? Why do I want to do witchery? Yeah. Um. Well, I thought the idea of making a flying broom sounded really cool. So you gonna make a flying broom? Yeah. 
There we go. That's got water. So if you want to till that. I don't think this will, call, this will really give us great... We'll have to figure it out. No, there are like four witchery seeds, right? Yeah. And then there's water artichokes. Um, I guess we'll just go with the... Here. Do you have water artichoke seeds? Well, we only re yeah, I have I have all the um the witchery seeds. I'm gonna go put those. I'm gonna go put some downstairs near the altar as well. Okay, I could just I could could I just put one on the center? Yeah. But the more plants we have, the more powerful we are. Well, don't worry. I'll put as much as I can. I think. Well, I don't know. I'll have to do some measurements. But we might be able to put up a plant on the side of the building. Yeah, we could. I mean, there is that area that's not being used alongside. Yeah, the if we're careful, we might even be able to get that to work. Yeah. So already we've gone up by like a hundred power. We're just having artichokes? Yeah, 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 so let's go ahead and get... Here, can I have some seeds too? Hold on. Ooh. Oh, essence seeds are not witchery. No. Hold on. I, I sorted them by... I gotta look through my, my little bag. I want seeds. I want seeds. I want seeds. What do you think of my new hat, by the way? Hmm? What do you think of my hat? Um... What is it? It's a haunted hat. His name is Charles. 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 Oops. I was looking at my bag. Hold on. Uh... Okay. So I've got um, Belladonna, Snowbell, and Mandrakes. You don't have the water artichokes? I do have water artichokes. Okay. Why don't you put the other ones up here? Give me the water artichokes and I'll make a room downstairs. Okay. Let me pull those out. Water chokes. All right, you want them all? Yes, please. Wow, okay, that's plenty. That's plenty. No, that's enough. That's enough. First of all, why do you always drop them that way? Because it's funnier. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. So we can put some of these here. All right, I'm going to lay down some cobblestone where the runes will eventually go to. Okay. Just so I don't mess up. We'll break that later, so don't worry about it. You mean we'll mess up on purpose later? Uh, I mean, no, no. I just don't want to. I don't, don't want to accidentally put stuff down that's hard to undo. Okay. Because I'm laying down water artichokes around the edges of the altar. We actually don't need to visit the altar specifically very op often. So that's kind of nice, actually. So you want to make a flying broom. That's how That's how you want to roll. Mm-hmm. Can I also have a familiar? You can. Okay. Is there any sort of familiar that you think would be awesome? Oh, what are my options? Well, your options are cat, toad, and owl. No snails? No, and also no no magical uh, pigs. Oh, there is a magical pig. Yeah, hopefully this stuff will grow up and give us more power. Because right then now I we're want not a toad. getting nearly enough power. You want a toad? Mm -hmm. That is an ambitious familiar. So maybe, hmm, there's a bunch of other stuff we can make now, Sue. So that we, once, we, once the altar is up and at full power, then we should be able to put some little witchery artifacts all over the place. Mm -hmm. And those will um, give us the... Uh, power to you know do neat things like for example spin straw into gold oh alchemy well it's not like alchemy because we just use it for clothes I'd li i think maybe maybe the last thing we could do for this episode is get <laughs> that up online and then get our witches robes in order so mm -hmm. we can be witches are we witches 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 so yeah we'll do that and we'll need to get a bunch of leather so pretty soon in my other series i'm going to sort out our leather farm uh and you've been working on another a building for that too right yeah all right yeah. awesome Okay, well then, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get the we'll get the things we need. And let, let's also check on... Oh, wow, that's cool looking. We'll have to check on how well this altar is doing as soon as stuff's grown up. Um, can't really do a sprinkler indoors. It would be gross. No, that's nasty. Yeah, we also need the other accoutrement for this table. That'll help it out a lot. You know, we can also put water artichokes or other witchery plants out here. You see this little area that's um, underneath the windowsills? Yeah, that might be close enough. You think we could put like a row of belladonna down here? Yeah, I have plenty of those seeds. All right, well, let's do that. Okay. All right, Sue, so uh, we got to get that room all kitted out now that we have an altar, right? Um, yeah. Okay, what do we need for that? Well, we want to get our um, we want to get our, our sweet, sweet 
uh, witch robes on, I think, too, right? You were talking yes. about. And this, the awesome hat. Because the hat I have on, well, is my hat? It's a haunted hat, but it's not super witchy. It's just kind of weird. Just you're just wearing a costume. I am. I'm wearing like a costume. Like I'm. What was that? What was? What was your favorite? It was your favorite dra- like uh, vampire in an anime? I forgot the name of it. My favorite vampire in an anime. Yeah, you had like it was. It was. It was like this ridiculously goofy guy. Oh, are you talking about? Um... Oh, great! I can't remember the name of the the guy from. Uh... What's the name of the anime? Ah, I can't remember. Oh. It's been such a long time, but I did play. I I did play him for D and D one time. Yeah, yeah, you you, you played as him using the D and D fourth edition mechanics. I remember this. Okay. It's just a goofy guy with the emoist hair. Yeah, it was it was kind of a weird series in total. Okay, uh, that goes there, and I just need. So what we're gonna do then, Sue, is make some attuned stones. Attuned. Attuned stones. Sup, attuned. Uh, so I guess we'll just need like uh maybe we'll make like five maybe six. Mm, let's make an even Whoa. ten. You can hold one in each finger. What's wrong, Sue? Uh, there's a, a babby um zombie attacking me. He attacked me pretty quickly too. Oh yeah, they're they're the worst. Came around through right around a corner and then just you know shanked me and laughed. <laughs> Wait, he laughed at you too. It sounded like it to me. Baby that's, laughed. That's not awesome. Uh, so the first thing we need to make is these attuned stones, and I have actually been preparing for a long time. I have a drum full of lava here, so this is going to be pretty straightforward for me to make. Although it's going to be a bit of a pain too, just because. There we go, a tune stone. At least, uh, at least it'll go pretty quick. If I can start using the right keys. Where do I need to go right now? Uh, well, if we want to have awesome witches robes, we're going to need golden thread, and we're going to need um. It's going to require gold, in, isn't it? Well, yeah, we have tons of that. And imbued leather. So we're going to need leather. Oh, I should check to see how much we got in stock. I don't think we have much because I recently used it. I had to go out looking for some. Did you make another hang glider? No, 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 no. But I, I had to make my super boots. Oh. But are you down here? Yeah, there you are. I'm coming. Whoa. Jeez, I got to get used to that. <laughs> well, here, um, I have four shears that I've been using to get cows, so they're behind you. Oh. Yeah, you can use oh, okay. those. Now, how much leather do we specific uh, do we need for? Well, why don't you take a look at the recipe for witch's robes? Oh, for witch's robes. Okay. And a witch's hat. We want we want enough for both of those, I think. Because what are the robes without a hat? Well, you need to accessorize. Well, I think both actually give big benefits too. And we're working. I'll be working on being able to enchant them so they're actually good armor too, which is the next the next big thing. All right, so we got these attuned stones. Uh, so what am I going to do with these? Uh, the first thing we're going to want is a chalice. And that will... Oh, that'll help us in one or two ways. And then we want to be able to brew potions and whatnot as well. Oh, wow. These are going to take a lot. Let's see. Yeah. For the robe, we're going to need about seven. For the hat, we're going to need about five. Okay. All right. So well, 13 for you and 13 for me. Get out there. Yep. Gonna get snipping. All right, I got a chalice, and um, we also need. Uh, let's just see at witchery. We need like um, a bunch of stuff, don't we? If we're gonna be witches, then we should just go full bore and be witches. I think. I think, right? As opposed to what? Well, you know, as opposed to other stuff. So we need a spinning wheel. Oh, by the way, we need four extra leather on top of that too. Okay. Right. Um. Yeah, because we need. We need a kettle. A leather kettle. No, 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 no. Uh, this is for a different thing. Okay. But yeah, the leather kettles are actually pretty sweet. You, I, so, I think you'd be surprised how much you like them. Sounds hardcore. And then you and I both need a poppet shelf in a secret space. Of course. So that we can hide our poppets. Yes, we don't want anyone to know that. Well, I mean, it's not that we're ashamed of having poppets, Sue. No. Are, are, are you ashamed? No, we just don't want people to see them because, you know, they're going to be hella rude, probably. Uh, are they? Oh, they're going to yeah. look at point at us and be like, oh, look at that poppet. Oh, God. <laughs> That's so disgusting. Gross. Oh, wow, some lava. I didn't know that was some lava so close to the base. 
I only get mushrooms from mushrooms, right? Uh, I'm confused what you're asking. I only get mushrooms from mushrooms, right? You can find just mushrooms on the ground, and they can, we can farm them too. I know, but I shouldn't. I shouldn't sh shave a a mushroom because. Of oh, I think you still get leather. And mushrooms. Yeah. And then they become normal cows, right? I don't think they do. They don't go back to being normal cows. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, I'm not sure what four shoes do. Give it a try. I'm scared. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin. So long them. as at least one mushroom's left. As long as one. Yeah. Do they just bud asexually? Yeah. And boom, and I'm putting on the chalice now, Sue. We're getting upgrades down here. Yeah, 3780 is still a pretty weak altar, but it's not bad for a first altar. We didn't really plan it out very well. And we'll, we'll, we'll make it better over time. We'll eventually make an area down there where trees can grow on their own. And trees are like the best way to get lots of altar power. I think we can hide a lot of stuff underground. I don't think I have to worry too much. Yeah. Oh man, I love having my new boots and this uh, amazing sword for of jumping. It just lets me just fly through the map. All right. Um. So, do we have any leather left at all? Um. I found one piece of leather, and I'm outside right now, shaving as many as I can, as furiously as I can. Okay. Okay. Uh. Well, then maybe what I'll do is I'll get the kettle going. The leather kettle. Not the leather kettle. But we'll get the distillery and the, um, you know, we'll get those things going. I think these cows are just really, really upset about being suddenly nude all of a sudden. Well, they get they get sad. I'm not going to look at their eyes then. <laughs> well, and they, they, they start crying and just generally being really big babies. Big babbies. Big babbies. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try and shave this mushroom and see what happens to him. I I clipped off all of his mushrooms. Now he's a regular cow. That's okay. I took away your leather. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it, jerk? What are you gonna do? You're nude now. People can see your people can see your shame. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> I'm jealous because you're out having fun and I'm like in here crafting. Oh yeah, this is tons of fun. Just sniping, snatching the clothing off of cows' backs. Well, I mean, who knows what exciting things could happen out there? Meanwhile, I'm in here like, do 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 do. I am putting things on crafting tables. <laughs> I wish there was some elegant way to automate crafting. Oh wait, there are many, but I just. <laughs> I I don't want to actually do anything myself. I want it all autom uh, automated. <laughs> yeah, well, what, what's wrong with that, huh? Plenty. I could just turn off the game. It's it, because it's you know it's automated. I don't do anything anymore. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now we're on the same wavelength. Oh wait, you're, you don't like that idea? <laughs> I don't like that idea. Well, I mean, I just it, some of these crafting groups are just kind of tedious. Sure. Okay. Like multi-level. Um, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You're like, I have to make this thing before I can make this thing. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so I got a kettle, I got a distillery, and I got... I'll make us some poppet shells, too. We need green wool for that, though. That's specialized. That's not going to be tough. It's just dye, isn't it? We have plenty of dye. We don't have lots of green dye. Actually, you know what I should take this moment to do, Sue? Is to set up the uh, cactus. I guess I really should look into... Um... Uh, crops that create dye, just like in real life. Well, yeah, we need we need um uh, magical crops at some point. Well, we do have plenty of them growing. We'll just I get I guess we'll get to them at some point. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Over here, I'm gonna hide a little uh just a wee little place where we can grow some cactuses. Some cacti. Some cacti. Cac. <laughs> some cac and die. Oh, he's labeled as a cold cow. Yeah, because he's cold. I'm so cold. Why? Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Boing. There's so much to do. Uh, there is? Yeah, I mean, don't you think? More to do than could sure. ever be done. Right? I mean, we could do it all, or, you know. Eventually, I want to get golems. So, you know, I was watching um, Ridge's, Ridge Dog from Yogg's Cast, Yogg's Cast Ridge Dog. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, ridges. Yeah, mm, he's got ruffles. Uh, and I was thinking to myself that I, one of the things he did that I really liked was that he asked his audience for advice on what to do. Do uh, what to do? What, what do you mean? Like, like, like for example, he would ask them for help with like problems. Like there was a dungeon. He's like, what should I do with this? And his audience told him. I thought that was super cool, right? Oh, okay. Do you think that we should do something like that? Um, sure. If people want to say what we should spend our time with, and sure. Well, I was thinking was maybe we could ask them something like this. We could ask them, what out of T Takashi's castle do you want to see us build first? Because pro the thing about Takashi's castle, right? is that it's actually just a whole bunch of little like minecrafty kind of builds just hiding in the middle of nowhere right like like really it's not all connected there's not like actually an obstacle course it's just a bunch of places they shoot so we could build any given piece so you want i mean i was looking into this and i realized it's going to take a bit right. of research to figure out which of the challenges that were popular in um Takeshi's castle that's that are doable yeah so I was thinking maybe we could also help have the audience help. So folks, why don't you comment for us and tell us what you think? Help. Yeah, yeah. Tell tell us exactly what you think were the funny ones. I could think of a couple. For example, there's that. Remember that one they always started out with where you had to cross the river, and it was like this terrible pool, and there were those rocks that it, the wrong rocks. If you stepped on them, they just uh, they dumped you into the into the. Oh lake. yeah, yeah. That one. They they always started with that one. I thought that was a really funny one. Are they possible though? With the mods that we have on hand. I think so. I think so. Okay, so this, I think if, if we put this right here, that should be close enough. Dang and it, cow. This one is the other one. No. 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 Oh, oh shit, I pushed you off. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, this is not going to work, though, here. We're going to have to make some room downstairs in the witchery cave. In the witchery cave. Yeah, I have to break into your wall a little bit, Sue. Stop. Well, look, I need a place where I can have fire underneath the kettle, and that fire will spread to all the wooden walls. Oh, no. Yeah, so obviously we don't want that, right? Fire bad. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is just cut a little bit. You know what? No, I don't want to cut there. I want to cut on the other wall. I'm going to ask you to, to figure out how you want to make that beautiful, because this room is awesome. It's like the best underground space I've ever seen. It's like a hobbit hole. Well, we could also build hobbit, hobbit holes at some point. Well, that'd be fun. That would be fun. But that's Mr. not part Frodo. Of, <laughs> that's not part of the challenge. Not for now. No. Oh, Mr. Frodo, sir. Oh my gosh, I have twenty-two skins. Kind of gross, but well, I mean, I'm getting there, right? Yeah, yeah. Slowly but surely. Okay, and then that goes. And then I also have a long line of angry naked cows. <laughs> well, hopefully they'll grow their fur back, and we'll be good. Their fur. I took their skins, Dave. <laughs> it's their fur, okay? Let's just call it fur. My skins. My skins. I love how this tree has, like, overgrown our wall. It's good. As long as spiders can't use it to, to climb over. No, it's got a negative slope, so spiders can't. Okay. Also, I really feel like a ninja running up and down this this roof.